But I just want to talk about this more generally for a, for a few minutes. Um, a few things. First off, I don't like this being called paid sick leave or paid sick days because it's not paid sick days. It's paid time off. There, there's very little in this bill that is going to require anyone to actually be sick or to verify that they are actually uh, missing time from work for being sick. It's paid time off. And um, I'll also point out that you know the uh, folks that are pushing this bill are, are presenting it as if they're doing some very generous thing for employees across the state. And I'm telling you that they're, they're, uh, they're not doing anything generous whatsoever. They're, they're, not, they're giving something that does not belong to them, first and foremost, uh, which is the number one issue that I have with it. Um, it's not yours to give. Uh, and uh, by forcing someone else to give something that belongs to them to someone else does not make you generous. It doesn't make you kind. It doesn't make you moral or righteous. Uh, it means that you have very little respect for at least one party to the transaction. And I would say it means you have very little respect for our system of laws and justice, period, because our system is based on the idea that the people are in power and they have the uh, sovereignty and the rights to make their own decisions. And uh, people seem to think that when they're elected to this legislature that they can just come up here and decide how other people are going to live. And they're wrong. They shouldn't be doing that. And uh, I, I long for the day that the courts finally get, a, get, a, get this right and start to push back on the ability of governments to be able to interfere in the freedom of private individuals to negotiate and come up with uh, employment terms on their own. I talked a little bit about the, uh, the themes associated with this committee. Uh, I think I already mentioned the, uh, the notion of, of an antagonist relationship, and I know Representative Weir mentioned it also. Um, that, that's not the way the world works. It really isn't. Now, I, I know that uh, you know, some folks in the majority that uh, like this legislation, they come from a, a world of, of collective bargaining and union labor, but that's not the whole world, first and foremost. And I don't know that even in that world that there is necessarily a very strict and adversarial relationship between uh, the unionized employees and the employer. They tend to negotiate and work things out um, amicably in most circumstances. And certainly when there is no collective bargaining going on, that happens all the time. I I'll also remind this committee that, you know, uh, I think something I said the other day, which is that employment is a voluntary activity. The employee, if they don't like the terms, they, they don't need to be employed by that employer. And every employee and every employer has the opportunity to negotiate the terms of employment when they begin their relationship. And I say that kind of tongue in cheek, knowing that they don't really have the full authority to negotiate that because this body and the federal government have decided many things for them already. But everything that is decide for, decided for the parties eliminates a little bit of their freedom and ability to negotiate on their own behalf. And that should not be lost on people, even people that are getting a benefit. They should realize that they may have been getting a benefit, but they gave up something in exchange for that. And that was their own freedom to negotiate the terms of what they're getting. That freedom is what separates us from the rest of the world. In America, people are not born and then told that they're going to be royalty or they're going to be middle class or they're going to be slaves. In America, they tell people uh, you are born equal with opportunity to be able to come and achieve anything you want. In other countries, that you might uh, you know, uh, go to school and they might tell you what you're going to do for a job for your life. That's the way this is going. We have government telling you what your job's going to look like, what your compensation is going to be. You should be able to achieve anything, and you should be able to negotiate those terms yourself. Point in fact, this bill and many like it that go through this committee are effectively using the force of state government, which is the most powerful force we have, government, more powerful than any employer, more powerful than any individual, 
government as the force of the military, the police, the court, jail. So when the government says you have to do something, there's nothing more threatening than that. 